Good morning, friends. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. It's almost 5. No. Yeah, it's almost 5 a.m. My alarm's going to go off in like a minute or so. Oh, my gosh. I stayed up until my sister got to my parents' house. So I talked to my mom for a while. Like I said, my mom had no idea my sister was coming, and I talked to her for a while, pretending like, oh, did she post that in group me? Did she, did she post her itinerary in group me? And my mom was like, I can't track her. So my sister, she knew to turn off her tracker, which was brilliant. I've never turned off my tracker when I surprised them. But they knew she was coming today on Saturday. She she turned it off, which was brilliant. And then she walked in the house. She unlocked the door and stuff and walked in the house. And I was on the phone with my sister for an hour. She said the roads were horrible. It's like they just gave up plowing. They're like, we're done. We're done with this. And they gave up plowing. Um, I'm up, my alarm went off at 4.45, so I can jump in the shower and get ready. My lift is going to be here between 6 and 6.10, and then I'm going to head to the airport. The metro doesn't start running until like 7 something, so that's not going to work. <laughs> Which is fine. I'm still saving money by taking the metro and not parking. I mean, by taking a lift and not parking my car. So I still have some time before my flight boards. It doesn't board until 7.40. <sighs> I was telling my Instagram fam, like, I swore up and down. Swore up and down that I was not going to run another race. Like, I'm never running another race. I'm never going to run a half marathon. It's too much pressure on me. Why did I sign up for a 10K in May? And then I probably fly back to Michigan in August around the Krim. And then I think another race will be the half marathon in Las Vegas next November. I mean, next November, next March. <sighs> Do I not learn my lessons? Um, and then um, I also. I can tell when I put on weight. I can feel it. Like before I used to be like, oh, you know, you just don't know. It just comes on you. But I'm so in tune to my body now that I do recognize it. And I've put on some pounds. <laughs> so I won't be traveling for the next couple of months. And that gave me a chance to refocus, get back into my routine of working out. So... That's, that's what I'm going to do. Not Monday. Probably not Tuesday. But Wednesday. <laughs> I just say those days because um, Monday I'm traveling back to Washington, D.C. And then I have to go to work that evening. Tuesday, I'm going to go have breakfast for everybody before I go into work. And then on Wednesday, I work my normal shift and I'll be able to just work out after I come back because I've got to start training for actually I have a half marathon in two weeks. I'm doing a DC half marathon, rock and roll, y'all. Like, why do I do this to myself? So, on I ran the half on the 26th of February so the 27th which was Monday Tuesday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday I started to feel better like my legs weren't hurting as bad Thursday I was completely fine I do have that thing in the back of my foot like that little muscle back there that hurts but it's nothing I can't deal with I can't deal with is crazy sore thighs like my thighs were so sore so sore 
okay let's enjoy this airport scenery because I love being at the airport some people hate doing layovers and stuff but I love it I've always loved being at the airport watching people watching the airplanes take off and land what better way to like start your day gate here in Detroit is C23 that's Charlie 23 we just landed it doesn't like us that much snow <laughs> just joking it was a lot of snow I'm not one of those people but um, hopefully my bag made it <laughs> positive attitude it's so bright here the sky is so blue I need some gloominess <laughs> Okay, so I'm on my way to baggage claim. Let's hope that my luggage is here. They said that because it was checked in yesterday that it doesn't rescan and if they're manually putting them onto the airplane. Oh my gosh, I'd be so happy if my bags made the plane. Okay, let's go see if my bag's there. Just got the message. My bag should be on baggage claim three. So it did make the plane. Yo, I was so stressed about that. I know they say don't put your medication in the bags. <laughs> and I would have been okay a couple days, going a couple days without my medication. But I just didn't know how it was going to get to me. But my bag is here. I'm super excited. <laughs> So now I have to get prepped to go outside because it is cold. Okay. So I got my hat. I got this hat from when I went to Iceland. I got my scarf. So now it's off to go get a rental car. I'm all bundled up. I want to show you this. Like this is kind of nothing compared to like what it has been before. But look at all this luggage just sitting on the conveyor belt. Y'all, tons of luggage. You know, you can't help a winter storm, but it's still kind of frustrating. Like, I wasn't mad at anybody. It's winter, you know, it's Michigan. What do you expect? <laughs> I'm in the car and it's clean this time. <laughs> I think they gave me a better car last time because of what happened. So my sister is just dropping her car off at Avis. I'm gonna head over there to go grab her and then we're gonna head back to my parents' house. You guys, I'm very happy, I'm very happy. <laughs> a birthday cake and we're gonna get some wine and some meat and cheese trays because I love those it's gonna be a party weekend my sister's not having it I think she's still upset with me about the whole situation oh my god that scared me you see that on the ground back there it scared me okay friends I made it we made it we, we saw we stopped off at Sam's but let me show you the snow um, a family friend came and plowed the snow this morning for my, my parents. Oh, we're so grateful for him. Um, but let me show you the snow. So my sister said it was a lot more snow um, 
this morning. Even the roads weren't that bad. And it, the sun feels so good. It's it doesn't even feel cold. It doesn't feel cold. But don't let me go in the house without my coat on because mama might have a fit. Came out here to grab some dinner for my family. Um, we're doing Thai tonight. Uh, my mom was like, I'm like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Like, I've been hungry since 3 o'clock. And it's now like 4.43. So I'm like, let's get some Thai food. So I came out here to this Thai restaurant. And their Thai place is pretty good. I, I like it. It's not hot pepper Thai like it used to be in uh, Pontiac, Michigan. I think they closed. Anyway, I've been so thirsty. I'm so thirsty. And there's a Big B coffee next door. And I went over there. I'm like, she, I'm like, can I get a bottle? Can I, can I get some? I just want some water. And she's like, a bottle of water. I'm like, yeah, that, that's fine. I don't care. Like, I, I pay for it. I don't care. Um, and then she's like, here, I just give it to you. What? What? I just give it to you. Hmm. That was so nice of her.